Hi, I'm Peter Frank. I'm a first year seminarian here at Concordia Seminary, and I'm doing my field work at Salem Lutheran Church and School. Today's devotion comes from the book Each Day with Jesus from Concordia Publishing House. The title for today is Striving for the Prize. In Philippians 3, verse 16, St. Paul writes, Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Awards and prizes abound in our society. Pulitzer Prizes in Literature and Journalism, Emmy Awards for television programs, Oscars for the movies, a variety of lifetime achievement awards. A prize may have a financial reward to go with it, but mostly it proclaims work well done. In St. Paul's day, prizes were awarded for athletic excellence. He writes that many run in a race, but only one receives the prize, and applies this truth to people running the race of their Christian faith. Let them not be dropouts, lest they forego the prize, the crown of everlasting life. The apostle considered himself as being in a race that allowed for no let-ups, saying, Not that I've already obtained all this, meaning eternal life, or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. The prize, life with Christ here and hereafter, of course is not earned. It is not a wage, but an outright gift of God. In receiving this gift, we cannot boast, but we must give all thanks and glory to God, who sustains us in the faith until the end. We also thank Jesus Christ, who in our behalf ran his race to the death, and received his prize. So as we run our race in this life, we look to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. What's in it for you to stay close to Jesus to the end? Far more than a Pulitzer or a Nobel Prize. For you, it's the gift of eternal life. We pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for that gift of eternal life that you have given to us in Christ Jesus. We ask you for the strength to keep on following Jesus, even when the going is tough, for we know that you have already won for us that prize. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day in the Lord.